Raider Nation, it's your boy Graphic Raider, man. Back with another quick video. The views expressed to our graphic podcast. Welcome to the black hole of Raiders YouTube, y'all. Let's get straight to it, man. I know y'all probably seen the title like, oh, Graph is bugging out. What, what is he talking about? All right, hear me out. It's going to make sense, y'all. Smash mouth football. That's what Gruden is known for, right? That's what he wants. That's what he wants to do. Run the ball first. Take the necessary shots when they're there. Okay. Cleveland was the third best rushing team this year. Yes, they have the dynamic duo of Hunt and Chubb. But mind you, Chubb missed a lot of this season due to injury. We were the 14th best running team in the league. Jacobs dealt with his own injuries, but he pretty much played every game. Uh, Booker was great in spurts, but let's be honest, we had no duo that was nowhere near close as Hunt and Chubb. Smash my football. We had a better quarterback. I mean, D.C., you know, he can pass the ball, he calls the necessary audibles. Look, he was in, 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 in command of that offense this year. Baker Mayfield makes a lot of mistakes when passing the ball. Let's be real. He started heating up at the end of the season, but um, they played to his strengths. Run the ball, take the shots when necessary. The Browns' defense ranked 17th this season. Mind you, remember that number, 17th. Fourth against the run. Remember that number. We were 25th ranked defense this year, 23rd against the run. Listen, we had the better offense. Cleveland was 14th in time of possession. We were 15th in time of possession. So somewhere near, like, look, there's a lot of these stats this year where we were literally right next to each other. We were 10th in scoring with 27.1. The Browns were 12th, 26.8 a game. But we were 8-8. Eight eight. They were 11-5. Some may point to the strength of schedule. Yes, the Browns had an easier schedule than us. But you have to beat who they put in front of you. But they were like the 29th easiest schedule in the league, I believe. And we had one of the toughest schedules, especially at the beginning of the season. It was tough. That was probably, and, and look, but we weathered through that. We were 6-3 and three at one point. It comes down to this, y'all. A middle-of-the-pack defense. That's all we need. A middle of the pack defense. If we had a 15th to 17th ranked defense, we would have been in the playoffs this year. A 15th to 17th ranked defense would have beat the Chargers, would have beat Miami, and probably would have beat KC twice. Those were three games where they pretty much scored on this on some last second shit that we gave away. 11 wins gets us into the playoffs. Where we'd be 11 and five. We beat Cleveland. That puts us ahead of them. Boom. Simple as that. We have a lot of, you know, similarities to Cleveland. Like I said, the running game. But at some point, we got away from it. We got away from it. We were 6-3 and three for a reason. We ran the ball down the throats. We took the necessary shots when need be. I get Jacobs was beat up a little bit. I know our offensive line was beat up. But at some point, man, if it works, if it's, what do they say? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Like, I mean, come on, man. Like, what what, what happened? At what point did we just get away from that? You know what I'm saying? I know we threw the ball heavy on KC when we beat them. I mean, look. Our defense couldn't stop a nosebleed. They couldn't stop shit this year. Let's just be real. The, the Browns were fourth against the run. That's big. That means that they were at least good against something. Their secondary was not great because they were ranked 17. So that lets you know that their secondary was not great at all. But they were fourth against the run. So that means that they were, they were good somewhere. We were not good anywhere. We could not get to the quarterback. We couldn't stop the run. It seemed like after, what was it, the New England game, when they just ran down our throats, I mean, every running back that they had pretty much just had their way with our defense. At that point, it was just down here from there against the run. Because I feel like we started off strong, you know, against the run. In the beginning of the season. But we need a middle of the pack defense. At least. Mayock. Mark Davis. John Gruden. Our offense will blow the doors off the hinges. If you just give us a middle of the pack defense. It comes down to that y'all. I don't want to talk about the strength of schedules. And the middle. You know. The 8 and 8s. The 11 and 5s. Look. Time of possession. 
we were pretty much neck and neck with Cleveland. We need a better defense. We need to continue to run the ball down these guys' throats. That's what it boils down to, a middle-of-the-pack defense. I know I'm all over the place right now, Nation, but I'm going to preach that over and over again. We just need a middle-of-the-pack defense, and our offense is going to do its thing. It's your boy, Gra Graphic Raider, the views expressed to our graphic podcast. I'm feeling some type of way because I've seen the Browns win a playoff game last night, and I feel like we should have been there. Point blank, period. <laughs> well,